And let's do our last Netracell of the week. See how it goes with Titania solo. Let's wait for the proc. Okay, I think that was it. There we go. And zoom. Okay. This is Razor Wing Blitz. This is the kind of speed you can get with Titania. Makes Volt and Gauss look like slouches. Every time you cast a buff, you get a speed buff. Or you cast anything, actually. But we're self-casting buffs because they don't need targets that way. Okay. Alakazam! This way, that way. Make your mind up, game. Where are you sending us? And we're using ciphers on the terminals in case you're wondering how are we hacking so quickly. With the Glaive Prime and Arcane Strike. We just tried to melt everything with Boar and didn't really work that well, surprisingly. So we made it here in two minutes. Energy is going to generate a little bit slowly. Rolling Guard, super useful. And just immortalize ourselves. We let the Gruzzling get away because we weren't paying attention, but that's fine, we're not here for Gruzzlings. Rolling Guard, because there's a lot of stuff attacking us. And let Boar kill some stuff with its chaining mechanism. Oh, a Necromech. Okay, let's cast Lantern on something to distract them. Give ourselves Protective Dash. And it's down. And... Yep. Make ourselves Status Immune again. Swap the boar into Incarnon mode. I think one thing that's slowing us down is too much jump, running and jumping and so on. It's like automatic for us. Being the gamers that we are. Okay, let's just try and stand still and protective dash our way to victory. It's gonna be a little bit weird and challenging to s just stand still. Rolling guard, make sure we're status immune. Okay, our pet went down, not the best sign. Five minutes, halfway through. And there's a Necromech. Oh, that was death. 
Damn, it was going so well. Okay, we're back up. Let's not get careless again like that. That was straight up embarrassing. Wipe him out. Can't let him take the bridge, eh? This thing is causing some hassle. Make sure we're status immune. And another necromite. How are we doing? Six minutes. All right, this thing is annoying. Over there. And let's cast a lantern on something. There we go, distracts the enemy. Eximus fell down off the bridge, lulz. Health took a hit. Protective dash and guardian shell. Still taking hits. And almost done. Let's just make sure we're status immune. Protective dash again. Can also void snare. Okay, they're too close to the edge, which is annoying. There they come. And yeah, as you see, this shield gate is kind of a lot of work, but it works. Search the Netrosals. 7 minutes, 47 seconds. I can definitely do this faster, just need to practice some more. Okay, got everything. Everything important, anyway. Oh, there's something in here. So let's go up there. Mm hmm. You cannot pick up or interact with objects in general if you're in flight mode. Zoom! 8 minute solo Netracel, not too terrible, and we got a Tau Forged Crimson Shard. Can definitely get it down to more like 6 minutes, maybe even faster, but that's where we're at with our current loadout, Glaive Prime, primarily. Hey guys, really quick rundown of the build. We had a subsumed Zatar's Whisper on that run. Mainly we were casting status immunity onto ourselves and lantern every once in a while onto the enemy when things were getting hectic. Four was just for moving around with the razor wing blitz and yeah, here's the actual mods that I used. Feel free to pause the video if you want. And for prime, we didn't end up using that much. Does have sick disposition. It is a good in Kanon. Plus punch through gives you extra beams, like they chain more to different enemies. Not necessary though, because we were just killing with the Glaive Prime. Here's our build on it. Did invest in Umbral Forma, but you don't have to run two Umbrals. It's just because I wanted guaranteed crits. I think you get guaranteed crits anyway, because it's double on heavy attack. But sometimes you get red crits, which is also quite nice. This does next to nothing on the Glaive Prime, but Hey, why not stick it on anyway? Um, otherwise, the build is pretty standard. These things are really needed. Uh, I think most people run with those as well. And yeah, I did get lucky on self-rolling this. In fact, getting it to drop at all. And Vazarin, you saw there was a rotation. We were casting Protective Sling on, on ourselves, Guardian Shell and Guardian Break. They all cast really quickly. Or rather, Protective Sling, Guardian Shell and Void Snare because Guardian Break is a part of Guardian Shell. So Void Snare groups the enemy up, Guardian Shell gives you this kind of shield gate mechanic, and Protective Slings complete damage immunity for 5 seconds. Yep, that's the build. 
that we just ran. Yeah. Definitely mm -hmm. enjoyed seeing that run. Feel free to like, share, comment, subscribe, whatever you want. And yeah, see you in another video, I hope.